I was hoping we were actually going to have the make right stuff like have it today, but we don't have it yet. At least, at least at the time of this recording. So let's talk about make rights coming. Um, a lot of make rights are coming. You guys, you may have heard that you probably saw it from someone else or something like that. Uh, it's going to be for ultimate alumni and rookie premiere basically. And whatever you were supposed to get before, you're just going to get updated versions of 87, 88 overalls. Uh, so what I want to talk about, since I may not be here to kind of walk you through the cards, once they come out, you may just want to make a quick selection. Let's just talk about what we should be picking here. There's going to be two trains of thoughts here real quick. One, I want the best cards in the game. And two, I'm not really spending a lot of money, but I want to have the biggest impact on my team. Okay. So on this account, on this account, this is my money spend account. Uh, I kind of want some of the best cards, right? Some of the best cards, but we don't really know what the stats are going to be when it comes to my no money spend account. Uh, I believe I took Terry on Arnold and Dallas Turner, right? Now, would I replace on my no money spend account? Again, I only got two rookie premieres coming. Would I replace them with a better version of Terry on Arnold or Dallas Turner? No, probably not in that case because they're still starters for me. Terry on Arnold is fading off as a starter on this team. So we could get another version of him on the main team, right? Same thing here. I have a JC Latham on this main team. Do I need to get an 87 overall left tackle? No, I don't. So let's talk about these cards, potentially what they're going to look like and all that. We're going to start out with ultimate alumni today and just see. Uh, so it's going to be upgraded versions of these three cards. That is the assumption we have here. Okay gonna be plus two or plus three overall generally ea can make that plus two or plus three to every attribute and that will work uh so a card like josh Hines allen it's not even a fantastic card at this point anyway at 85 it's kind of a low end 85 so it would be a low end 87 so let's just assume that it's plus twos and if they do a they do upgrades 88s then yeah uh, so an 84 speed outside linebacker with not 80 plus power move and finesse move is probably a no. It's probably a no. I think this is the card that I took on this account anyway. Probably a no, right? It's a no. Uh, I think that's probably the worst of these three. And you get to Miles Garrett, who actually does have an 87 overall. Uh, and again, you could basically say that that's probably the card it's going to be. However on a big money spent sort of team. This card is meh. It'd be meh at that point. Uh, Micah Parsons is, is, is a good card. Max Crosby is still a good card, right? This Miles Garrett wouldn't move the needle for me here as well. And even on my no money spent account, this is the card I would take. I wouldn't replace him with a plus two overall there, right? Now, one thing I would think about is Saquon. Again, if I can get an 87, 88 speed running back for free, I'll take that for now. Now, I know running back is a dime dozen, and it's normally a position where we'd say, don't take free cards. However, in a case like this, he's going to be a pretty good card. This old Saquon is still a pretty good card, but getting those, that little bump up right there, Again, until we get to real abilities on cards, which is probably 89 overall, so we're, we're, we're a couple weeks away, I can temporarily take Saquon, put him on my lineup, get rid of, sell whoever I have at starting running back and pocket coins, right? And I am even or slightly ahead in that point. I can't say the same thing with Josh Allen or Miles Garrett. I just can't do it. You can't. Now, unless that Miles Garrett gets every team cam, which maybe they end up doing, but I think to me, Saquon makes the most sense for me on both sides, on my no money spend account and on my spend account for this. But this is the easier choice. The rookie premieres are going to be the harder choice. Gentlemen, we got a big weekend of football coming up. There's a lot of it. There's a lot. We got college. We got NFL. We got Kirk Cousins on primetime with the Falcons. I might cry. Don't worry about me. Either way, Perfect time to go check out prize picks today and use code CC when you sign up. That way you can get $50 free credit instantly on your account as soon as you make your first lineup.
but you got to use code CC. That's just, it's, it's a small catch, but it's an easy catch. And yes, it does help support the channel and help support me and allows me to do all this fun stuff. So thank you guys so much for that. Again, you want to play the same plays that I have. They're always going to be over on Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it, the actual CC, but go check that out again. Maybe you can play in your state little map right here. And then again, keep in mind, we have a Caleb Williams free square to use every single Sunday the entire month of September. So make sure you guys use that, whether you're new to price picks, old to price picks, either way, that's up to you. Go have fun. Good luck, boys. I hope you win a ton. And use code CC. Back to the video. If you're looking to build the best team in Madden, make sure you avoid the packs and save some racks. Heading over to MMOEXP.com. Use my code CC for 5% off. Link is in the description down below. Rookie Premier selections. Uh, so we're getting a new Puka as well. All right. So again, it, he's 84, so he's going to be 86 speed, uh, which is which is fine. It's a, not, not a bad card, actually. Uh, but let's go position by position. Okay. Now, again, a lot of these things it's all going to depend on who you have on your team and what you want to do. So like I could take Tyler Newbin here. Assume he's 86, 87 speed, uh, pretty similar to what Sean Taylor is. I could actually cash out on Sean Taylor. Right? So you could always put coins back in your pocket at a certain point, which isn't a bad idea. Uh, but free safety has been a very overpopulated position in the game. Uh, which means that they're, we're probably not going to keep getting a bunch of them. Um, uh, and I think this card at that overall actually would be really nice. It's a very well balanced card. Good man coverage, good zone coverage, all that sort of stuff. I actually don't completely hate this. If you're selling someone that you can actually put a decent amount of coins back into your pocket for. Otherwise, again, it's a very overpopulated position. I'm not overly worried about the position personally. Terry on Arnold, though, an 87 to 88 speed cornerback is a premium spot a premium spot corner is very expensive premium corner is very expensive i have this card currently on my team i would 100 percent consider on my main team taking this card the problem is is it doesn't put any coins in my pocket now we're not really overly worried about coins but i think you're taking one of the best cards you can get out here i think again if you really really want the best team this is going to be one of your better options here. If you already have 85 Terry on Arnold, then I, and you're not a big spender. I won't take him. If you don't have him, first off, I would wonder why, uh, but then I would definitely take him in that standpoint. Okay. Couple cards here that I don't think are going to end up being taken. Uh, this Dallas Turner is a fine budget card. It's a fine budget card. He should get 86 power move 80 finesse move he, this card actually plays really uh well across the board and he actually does a lot of things really really well but his speed is just not going to be able to get up as high as you would like it to be uh if you ever have to drop him into coverage and again with how speed is going normally we're seeing 86 87 speed now for pass rushers 84 85 is just a little bit low and again i already have this dallas turner I'm just going to keep this version of him. I'm not going to get a different one. He doesn't make that much of an actual impact to me. Speaking of cards without impact, this card. I don't know anyone that has this card, actually. Um, so I don't know if it's a good card or bad card. But no. But no. We're not taking him. Uh, JC Latham. <sighs> you could move... If you wanted to use him and move him to right tackle. I guess you could, but you always have that Tyron Smith option for the season two cards. This is, I picked him the first time around because I didn't want to lock myself into a quarterback. I tell you what, this card's totally fine at 85 overall. I'm not going to upgrade him to 87. And I think that there is, there's a way to go about like, oh, I would like to not have to pay for offensive linemen. That's something we always say, but... But just go get a rental platinum lineman then. Don't waste a potentially good card, an impactful card here. Speaking of impactful cards, Rome Dunze is going to be 87 or 88 speed. Now you're getting Puka as well, probably, right? So you're like, oh, okay, well, do I need that? I already have Heinz Ward as well or Garrett Wilson. Sure. But this is something I can 
take and put coins in my pocket and get a stellar card out there. A stellar card. An 87 or 88 speed receiver. It's top of the line. It's top of the line. Xavier Worthy is an 88 speed card where he, before he got bumped up and he was well over a million coins. If Rome gets to 88 speed, it's like saying, hey, would you like a free Xavier Worthy? Yes, you would. You would take that again. And it's a position of depth, which is really, really important for me. I could sell Marvin Harrison, then put a few coins in my pocket and get a guy who's going to be on my team for a while, a couple weeks at least. Wide receivers three or four in a couple weeks isn't a bad spot. Up next, Jonathan Brooks. What do we say with Saquon? You don't, we don't really want to lock in running backs. We're not locking in Jonathan Brooks. We're not. Now the big one. The big one. I know a lot of people took Jaden Daniels the first time around. Um, should you take him again? I didn't take him before. I'm going to take him this time. He's the best quarterback in the game when, when he came out. He'll be the best quarterback in the game when he gets his upgrade. When he gets his upgrade. And because, again, what did we say? Abilities are really kind of few and far between right now. There's no real solid abilities out there. This card actually has a lengthy time to be used, potentially. Again, when I talk about how long can I use a free card for, I may say, oh, if I can get two or three weeks out of it, people will be like, that's it. It's actually quite a while. When we come to the game life of this, this card takes you until most feared, probably. Maybe even a little bit into that, just depending on who, who they end up dropping. But if you're talking 86 speed quarterback, which isn't quite as fast as Vic, but he is right-handed, his accuracies will all be pretty close, just missing on the deep accuracy, but you're still going to get 86, 87 throw power. It's a solid card. This is It's kind of what I would expect a Lamar Jackson card to look like at the same overall. And if you could get a free B&D Lamar Jackson card as soon as it comes out, you would take that as well. Even if you had an old Lamar, it's the most important position on the field. And again, right now, it feels like EA, the next time we get super quarterback in the game, they're going to really, really make us pay for it. Look at what JJ McCarthy, that card was, a lot of people use that card. And he was really, really expensive. Maybe people are still using Trevor Lawrence. who's not super expensive. But again, you could then put coins in your pocket because you, you have a quarterback, unless you're using Tebow or something like that. Or you're still on old Jaden Daniels. If you're still on old Jaden, you don't want to replace him. That is 100% fine. So I think it's a really interesting option. Again, for me, what I'm planning on doing on this account, uh, pretty much straight up, Jaden Daniels, is coming home. Jane Daniels is going to come home. I'm pretty sure we're going to take Rome so I can put some coins in my pocket with Marvin Harrison. For sure. Why not, right? Old Pook can take his spot. Uh, and then I think I'm going to go with Terry on Arnold. Again, just shore up corner position again. So I'm taking two depth positions, corner and wide receiver, the two biggest depth positions we have in the game, which gives them the most shelf life. And then a quarterback who I can use for a while, I, I'm like, I had Vic, we sold Vic, uh, but we're on Josh Allen right now because he was cheap and he's still good enough. Like I, I can, I win games with this card. Well, I win more games with Jaden. I'm may, maybe one or two, but it means I don't have to overly worry about it. I don't have to feel behind again because we don't have this massive set of abilities that EA is given out. We're gotta be worried about, oh my God, who's gonna be the first gunslinger quarterback? We don't know when that stuff is going to happen. So I'm not going to plan for it. I'm going to get the best players on my field, players who are on my field every single down, and just take it because it's free upgrades to great cards who have played well. It's a fantastic make, right? Again, some of you guys won't get all of the stuff because you didn't do it all. Like, I didn't, I didn't do it all on my No Money Spin account. I only did two rookie premieres instead of three. That's on me. It would have been very helpful. But I'll gladly take what we can get cash out have fun it's a good rookie premiere set it's a good ultimate alumni set it's a good make right as long as we get it i love you guys i'm out peace